children welcome back to science online session in today's science session we shall start with a new lesson lesson number 17 effects of light what are the contents today we have to learn scattering of light sources of light eclipses zero shadow day scattering of light we have learned that light is composed of several colors in 6th standard you learned about reflection of light white light consists of seven colors you must have seen the rainbow during the rainy season in the sky you must have also seen the dust particles in a beam of sunlight entering the house through a small window when we switch on the headlamps of a car when we drive through a thick fog you might have seen the beams of those lamps what is the cause of all these effects this early morning scenery everybody likes sun rises what is the color of sky that time it will be yellowish red color have you ever think why this sky looks like yellowish red at early morning sunrise and dawn or evening sunset time it's because of scattering of light a small experiment is given we can practice at home what are the apparatus we have to use glass beaker diode laser or any one laser pointer you can use water milk or milk powder spoon dropper etc take clear water in a glass beaker pass a beam of laser rays through it check whether the beam is seen in the water now use the dropper to add a few drops of milk to the water and stir well the water will be seen to have become slightly turbid now pass the laser beam into it again a light beam will show the existence of light rays a light beam is not seen in plain water but is clearly seen in slightly turbid water the light rays hit the tiny particles of milk and get scattered if these scattered rays enter our eyes we perceive the light that's what so a slightly turbid water that is if you mix water with one or two drops of milk the color of the uh, colorless uh, that uh, appearance will disappear and water turns to turbid so through that medium the laser light uh, travels and uh, you can see clearly the scattering of light sources of light that's the next stop what are the sources of light sun is the never ending source of light natural you all know that now other man made sources which are that that we will see take either a candle or a torch as light source in front of it set up a cardboard with a tiny hole as shown in the figure now the light is seen to emerge from the hole on the cardboard such a light source is called point source you can experiment ho at home old cardboard will be there you make one such ho small hole and uh, behind that keep one light uh, this candle lit up or one any other small point source so you can see one small beam in a dark room you have to do this experiment from that small hole one light rays enters on uh, coming out place a screen vertically at a distance of 1 meter beyond the cardboard hang the big ball between the screen and the cardboard observe the shadow ab of the ball the rays op and oq starting from the point source just pass by the ball and fall on the points a and b on the screen respectively however since no rays reach the screen between the points a and b that part remains unlit this is the dark shadow or the umbra you can see from the diagram ab that portion is dark that means their light rays are not formed that's what that turns to umbra 
what happens if the cardboard with the pin hole is removed now we do not have a point source this source is called an extended source what is the nature of the shadow formed by an extended source suppose you are removing the screen with the pin hole and instead of that any other bulb or torch if you keep or bright light that all are extended source what will be the nature of the shadow due to the extended source we see two parts in the shadow of the ball on the screen one faint and one dark faint means light color and one will be dark see in the uh, diagram it is clear middle ad that is very dark one and the other one is very faint the faint part bc is known as the penumbra and the dark part ad is called the umbra these two terms you have to learn the, from this uh, uh, session umbra and penumbra so what is the faint part called penumbra and the other one is the umbra this is another diagram shadow of a small object formed by an extended source eclipses you all must have heard about eclipses and uh, so many superstitions are uh, there in our society people are saying regarding the eclipse last year also we had one eclipse very 26th of december 2019 we had then one other small eclipse also recently happened so what is meant by eclipse the moon revolves around the earth and the earth along with the moon revolves around the sun their orbits of revolution are all different when the sun the moon and the earth come in a straight line an eclipse is said to have taken place solar and lunar eclipse you know that we all are part of solar system earth is a part of solar system earth is rotating revolving around this uh, sun as well as moon also so when these three earth sun and moon these three come in a straight line eclipse happens solar eclipse and lunar eclipse diagram solar eclipse happens when this uh, moon comes in between sun and earth solar eclipse during its evolution when the moon comes between the sun and the earth you have to recollect that when solar eclipse come, happens a cast of shadow of the moon is cast on the earth and the sun cannot be seen from the part in the shadow this is called a solar eclipse that's what during the daytime suppose uh, at uh, noon time 12 o'clock the eclipse happens that time usually 12 11 o'clock it will be so bright sunlight would be there still it is 12 or 1 o'clock if you can see that uh, the uh, sky uh, all the atmosphere will look like only uh, dark or uh, sort of faint or uh, as if it is uh, early morning or evening time because of there is uh, no sunlight is not uh, passing or uh, coming towards the earth because of the moon hindrance of the moon moon is between sun and earth so this is solar eclipse as the moon moves away then again the sunlight passes and earth will uh, lit up with that lunar eclipse that is the next one when the earth comes between the sun and the moon a shadow of the earth is cast on the moon and a part of the moon is covered this is called lunar eclipse that is in case of lunar eclipse earth is in the middle and sun and moon both the sides so due to that when earth comes between the sun and the moon shadow of earth is casting on the moon that's about lunar eclipse zero shadow day a day on which the sun reaches exactly overhead is called the zero shadow day on that day at noon shadows completely disappear this event can only be seen in the region between the tropic of cancer 23.5 north and the tropic of capricorn 23.5 south this event occurs in summer on different places in this region an eclipse is a natural phenomenon many superstitions con connected to eclipses are prevalent in the society it is necessary that everyone makes efforts to rid the society of superstitious beliefs people will say so during eclipse that will happen this will happen uh, so many uh, things are there so you should not uh, believe all these things you have to learn it scientifically next is uh, end part of this uh, video assignment give recent questions are there space beyond the earth atmosphere appears dark there is no entry of sunlight 
then give some examples of scattering of light that we come across in your day to day life. In the first slide only it is given, you can uh, write that answer. As well as you can refer the textbook also. What is the mean by scattering of light? In the video only given answer, you can copy from the video. Explain the difference between umbra and penumbra. That also you can write. What efforts will you make to remove the misconceptions about eclipses? As a science students, what all you can do? You can explain about the solar and lunar eclipse or the position of earth. Everything you can explain to others regarding the eclipses. That is about today's video. Thank you. Stay safe. Have a nice day.